Welcome to wine country. of Nova Kahovka at the Chubetskova Winery. And what's really exciting is that we actually get to stay here. So we are sleeping for the next three nights here. Today we are checking off a big Ukrainian bucket list item for me and we are finally going to go to the Ascania Nova Nature Reserve. So, very excited. So we have made it to Escania Nova, one of the wonders of Ukraine. It's very exciting to be here to check off this bucket list item. Unfortunately, in the summer months, a lot of times you can't do the very popular uh, retro photo safari tours through the steppe because it's too dry, it's too hot, there's fire danger. So we can't do one of those today, but we still get to come and enjoy the zoo park and enjoy the botanical gardens if we have time. I'm not normally one who's big on zoos, but because this is a biosphere reserve, they're also going to take care of endangered animals as well. So the Escania Nova Nature Reserve has existed in some form for over a hundred years. It was originally started by a guy who was a descendant of German colonists. Ungelitz. Throughout the last hundred plus years, there's been a reserve here to sort of take care of animals, take care of endangered species, do research, and it's really quite like a, a nice project. How did he get up there? Look at those feet! He really is sitting on one leg. and like the buffaloes and antelopes and horn things and then camels and llamas. Yes. Every year more than 200 young are born. Oh, look at that guy with those antlers. Japanese deer. So we made it to the zebra star attraction. But it's lunchtime, so he's busy and we can only see one part of him. Not, not his best angle. Not the most photogenic angle. So 
But while there's definitely a lot of animals to see, I feel like probably most of the animals are actually out in the steppe, maybe, because we only saw like one zebra, and I'm pretty sure they have more zebras. Something that is cool is that some of the animals have babies. They have little babies, not, not llamas. Wow, is it a family? We found some more zebras. Yay! Who are a little bit more forward facing. Nope, oh, still only get one side of them. What a fantastic beast. Yeah, he looks like something from Narnia. So these are kind of horses the Ascania Nova Biosphere has actually helped to reintroduce to the wild, where the population numbers have gotten too small. They're from this tiny part of the world. <laughs> Conversation's over. It took us a little more than an hour to walk through the zoo park. Um, most of the animals are pretty relaxed right now because it's really hot today. And there's not very many people around either. I definitely think what you see at the zoo park is a fraction of what the biosphere has. And I hope someday I can come back and do one of the retro photo safaris. So it's our last day at the winery. We're about to do our degustation and then check out. But the only thing I haven't shown you is actually the room that I stayed in. So I'll give you a quick tour. It doesn't look as clean as when I first moved in, but it still gives you an idea. We got this entryway. Right in front of you is the bathroom. Pretty decent shower. And then the bedroom. It's like this. Mini fridge, TV, and of course, most important, the bed, which was really comfortable. I slept really well here, so pretty happy with the room. Oh, and actually most important, air conditioning. wine tasting with a very funny guide and very cool people doing the tasting with us and actually all five wines I really enjoyed which is kind of unusual for wine tastings. Unfortunately we are now leaving the winery and heading to the bus station but before we go I do want to say they showed us a short video about like the history of the winery and something that is very cool um, that I didn't know before I came here is they use only grapes that they grow on the territory. So a lot of wineries will like ship in grapes grown in other places, but they sort of like keep it all under control. So this was a fantastic visit. If you want to come visit a Ukrainian winery, I definitely recommend it. And um, hopefully you guys will get a chance to see this place for yourself. So we are outside of Nova C <laughs> Am I in focus? We are staying at a winery, which looks a little bit like a castle. Um, I wish I knew how to say the name of this place. And helping with some protection and, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Do you want me to pretend pour you some more wine? <laughs> I'm gonna hold the bottom so it looks like that's what's happening. <laughs> 